What's going on you guys? This is Trent here at Rexburg Motorsports here to do another machine overview with you. Now I gotta tell you, Honda has brought out one of the coolest side-by-sides for 2021 and we haven't seen enough of them. But I wanted to give you an overview on one that we just got in and I'll tell you, when you look over the specs of this little machine, this thing is awesome. The machine we're talking about today is Honda's 520 Pioneer. This thing is sweet. Let's dig into this thing and show you just why you would want this one in your garage. All right, you guys. So when it comes to the 520 Pioneer, Honda has brought out a machine that is unlike anything else in the side-by-side -side game. This is a 50-inch category machine, and it's the only 50-inch category machine with a dump bed. This thing is awesome. Honda has done a great job with this little 520 Pioneer, and I wanted to show you exactly what makes this different from the 500 Pioneer that this is the next stepping stone up from. Now, a big thing that you're gonna get with this, we gotta talk about the chassis. So this is a 50 inch wide machine, allowing you to get through all the restricted trails that you're gonna come across with this if you're going into ATV country. So in our local area, if you're going up to Island Park, if you're going to Kelly Canyon, if you're going to Fall Creek, those areas, if you're getting to the 50 inch category trails, this thing will make it through all of the gates. Now to go along with that 50 inch wide width, this thing has an overall length of 105 inches. Now that 105 inch overall length is mated to a 73 inch long wheelbase. This machine is super, super small, super compact, in fact, with this smaller chassis, this thing comes in at a curb weight, again, with all the fluids and everything, at just over a 1,000 pounds. You're 1,045 pounds on this thing, completely filled up with everything. That is awesome. One of the big things Honda touts with these little 520 and 500 Pioneers is that this will fit in the back of most full-size pickups, allowing you to go without a trailer when you're trying to get this machine to your riding areas. Now, on top of this, you're getting 8.5 inches of ground clearance, which goes along with the 24-inch tires that come stock on this. This has 24 eighths and 24 tenths, both on 12-inch rims on this little machine. Now, I'll tell you, in the past, we've had demo 500 Pioneers, and we've stuck 26s and some 27s under this to give it more ground clearance and more of that ride height that you're wanting. Now, a big thing with that, again, with this being a 50-inch category machine with a short wheelbase, you do want to be careful with that because it will make it a little bit more tippy. So just be aware of that if you do decide to go to some bigger tires. With these 520 Pioneers, you've also got 5.8 inches of suspension travel in the front and 5.9 inches of suspension travel in the back. And both of those suspension setups are double wishbone independent suspension, both front and rear. So you're gonna get awesome bump compliance and it's going to be not pitching you back and forth like a solid axled four-wheeler would. Now, one big thing that I will tell you is when you look at these 520 Pioneers, they do a great, great job of making sure that this suspension is set up for tame trail riding and utility use. You can't get too awfully aggressive with this stuff without starting to really bottom and clank this suspension. So just be aware of that as you are riding this little machine. They do do a great job of setting this suspension up to really be tailored towards what they were looking for with this little utility 50 incher. Now to slow down this little thousand pound machine, you do have awesome brakes on this. You've got dual brakes on the front. They're both 200 millimeter discs and you've got a brake disc on each wheel. But then on the rear, you've just got a single brake setup. It's a 170 millimeter rotor, and the brake setup on this is actually before the differential. So it's gonna lock up that, that rear end uh, with just that single brake. This dump bed is awesome. They did a great, great job of making sure that you've got tons of capacity with this. This dump bed will hold up to 450 pounds. It's nearly 10 inches deep. It's 9.8 inches deep for the actual number. It's 25.9 inches long, and then it's just over 38 inches wide, being 38.7 on that. So you've got a 38.7 inch width, 25.9 inch long, and then 9.8 inch deep 
allowing you to hold, again, up to 450 pounds in this dump bed. Now, a big thing they do with this dump bed as well, you've got three bucket recesses for five-gallon buckets, and then you've got awesome metal tie-down hooks to really make sure that you can secure anything that you're looking to haul with this. Now, to complement this 450-pound bed uh, capacity, you've also got the ability to tow up to 1,000 pounds on this machine. This machine barely weighs more than 1,000 pounds, and it'll tow 1,000 pounds. Talk about punching over your weight limit. Honda has done a great job to make sure that this thing is super capable. Now, again, when you think about that, with this being so small and with it being so compact, you can haul it in the bed of your truck, you can take it on four-wheeler trails, and then with this bed and with this towing capacity, you can work all day and make sure that this thing is going to be hauling its weight in work. This thing is awesome. Now, when we talk about the powertrain on this Honda 520 Pioneer, that's another big area that Honda updated going from the 500 Pioneer. Now, that 500 Pioneer that this is the next stepping stone up from had a 475cc motor that, you know, it was awesome. Very, very torquey. It had great response, uh, but more is always better, right? For this 520 Pioneer, they bumped it up to a 518cc motor. So gaining nearly 50 cc's of displacement from that bigger piston is going to allow this to have more power throughout the entire power curve. Primarily though, you are gonna see a lot more of that low to mid power, which is what happens when you bore out a motor. Now this does have fuel injection, so it's going to allow this to have easy starting and clean run up, regardless of elevation, regardless of temperature and weather. This thing is going to be so ready to play and work that, man, Honda has done a great job with this motor. If you know anything about Honda reliability, you know this is going to be a machine that you're going to be able to beat on for a long, long time and a ton of miles. And as long as you do those basic maintenance steps of doing your air filters and your oil changes, this thing is going to last a long, long time. This is not a belt drive CVT. This right here is an auto clutch five speed transmission that you've got two modes on. You've got automatic where it will shift fully for you and then you've got manual mode in which you get to use these awesome paddle shifters. Now, driving these things, I'll tell you, everything about the powertrain, especially when you're in manual mode, screams sport. This thing is so fun to drive. If you ever get a chance to drive one of these 500s or 520s, you know when you're paddling through the gears with these paddle shifts, it, it gives you a sense of connectivity and a sense of accomplishment when you're keeping this thing in the rev range and when you're driving this thing to its potential. It is a very exciting machine, and I'll tell you, <laughs> if you were to throw some sportier suspension on this thing, this thing would be a riot to attack the trails with. With the stock suspension, though, it does give you that sporty nature, again, with this awesome powertrain, but it does leave you wanting to hit the trails a little bit softer, watching for the smooth lines, and again, use it for the utility nature that this machine was designed for. Now, as the power goes through that 520 motor into that awesome five-speed transmission, you've got a two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive system that Honda does a great job with. This has got a locked rear diff, and then when you do select to be in four-wheel drive, this has got their Trax lock front differential. So it's a limited slip differential, which as you go through these, these modes, in the two-wheel drive mode with this locked rear diff, this is going to give you that tail-happy nature that's going to make it really exciting and really fun when you're on gravel or hard dirt. Now when you do throw it in that four-wheel drive system, you're still going to get plenty of good steering feel, and it's not going to want to plow too much through the corners with this limited slip front, but when you do need all that grip, it's going to give you all that you're going to need in the dirt, in the mud, in the snow with this awesome setup. Now, when it comes to fit and feel of this little Honda, they do a great job of making sure this is just nice and simplistic. You do get these awesome lower doors that the net is actually attached to the door, and so it opens out of the way as you open the door. And this is going to do a great job of keeping a lot of that trail debris out of the cab. Now, when you look at these little seats, they do a great job of making sure that you've got plenty of shoulder room 
when you're considering the person next to you. Now you do you do sit kind of up against this, but you've got plenty of room when there are two people in here. And with seating for two in this little bench seat, you know the, this is going to be an awesome little comfy spot for when you're riding in this machine. Now when you're looking at the dash layout on this little Honda, you can tell Honda was trying to keep this just nice and simplistic. Now you've got the paddle shifts right here. You've got shifting up on your right hand, shifting down on your left hand. And then as you go through the rest of the dash, you've got a nice easy on off on your lights. You've got your two wheel drive and four wheel drive set up right here. And then you've got your manual or automatic mode selector just right here. That's it. You've got two cup holders. The rest of this, you've got this little gauge just right here that shows you anything and everything that you could possibly want. You've got your gear selector. You've got a two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive setup right below it, and then miles an hour and your gas. This thing is a super simplistic little side-by-side, -side, but it makes sure that it gives you everything that you need with nothing else that you don't. Honda's done a great job with this 520 Pioneer. If you're interested or have any other questions, let us know in the comments below how we can help you out. But if you do get a chance to get your hands on one of these 520 Pioneers, you are not going to be disappointed. They have done a great, great job making sure that this machine is the perfect blend between fun and utility in that 50 inch category. Again, making it really one of one. Thank you for watching this video here on YouTube. And if you would, consider hitting that subscribe button. We would love to keep you up to date with all the cool videos that we'll have coming out here for Rexburg Motorsports. And have a great day.